Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. <laughs> I'm going to get you! The monster! He's after us! And when I do... <laughs> when I do, I will... I will... <laughs> cook you on my monster barbecue and eat you all up! <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> I'm hungry! care of that. Now then, where did my dream leave off? Ah! Uh, this is not good. Ah! Come on, snap out of it. Ah! Look guys, don't worry about a thing. I'll take all the blame. Don't even try to talk me out of it. I simply insist. No, no. I'm telling you I can handle it. Really. My very first sculpture in just one class. Can you believe it? Uh, no, I really can't. I'll just set it here to dry. It really reflects my inner feelings about the basic human condition. Who knew there was an artist inside of me just waiting to blossom? Uh, I love it, honey. It's really like, like, uh, like art. <laughs> oh. Washington, did you do this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was my grandmother's face. Oh, 
Oh, honey, look at his face. He didn't mean to break it. You know how clumsy dogs are. <laughs> You're right. My grandmother didn't even like that vase very much. And I didn't really like my grandmother. Me neither. Well, I think Washington has learned his lesson. Right, Washington? <laughs> He's really sad. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay, Wash. We should be going. Our dinner reservations are for seven. What time is it now? Uh, 6.59 and 18 seconds. <laughs> yeah! Thanks for taking the blame, Washington. There's no way I could handle so much shaming. Oh, you're a master. Let me try. Uh, I can't do it. I can't do that pain face you do. Well, I hope this is a lesson learned. One, I'm an excellent actor. And two, you guys really <laughs> should <laughs> <laughs> Hey, did you not hear what I just said? I will not cover for you again. You've got nothing to worry about, dude. Could you please watch out? If anything happens to this thing, the Livingstones will blame me for it, and my sad face trick will only work once. Just smash it already so I can get back to my beauty sleep. <laughs> I'm gonna get you! Hey, that's enough! Hey, listen to me! Come on, hey! What? That's not enough. I need them to be quiet once and for all. <laughs> what? How? How did that happen? Huh? What? What happened? Something broke? Oh, no. <laughs> What's with Washington? They're going to think he did it. Oh, Ray, why? Because they already took the blame for us last time with the vase. They're going to think he did this, too. <laughs> to fix this! <laughs> we? Yes, we! Come on! All right, all right. I think I remember what it looked like. Let me try this. Well, well, well. Not bad. Not bad at all, if I may say so. What is it? Mrs. L's statue. The one she brought in. It looked just like that. The one she loves so much? <clears throat> yeah, that one. The one she's so proud of? The one that makes her so happy? Yes, yes. No? It didn't look like that. At all. You're right. Who am I kidding? This looks like it was put together in a blender. I think I can fix this. Done! That's worse. It looks like nothing at all. Let me try. playing 
a sandbox. Longing for the days of his youth. Wait, what are we doing? What about the statue? Oh no, they're back! Ah! Wait! Everybody, calm down! Panic is not the answer! Panic is never the answer! Ah! Well, thanks, guys. Looks like I'm in really big trouble. Not a second to lose! Right here! Okay, uh, some wings, uh, no head, uh, a bit like this. <gasps> Look, hon, they love my sculpture! <laughs> it almost looks like they're worshipping it. <laughs> Looks even better than I remember. Huh? <laughs> Still here? I thought I'd broken it. <gasps> Oops. Oh, Victoria! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. needs a little solo time. Rush me ah. up! Oh, yay! Group walk. Wash, do we have a dog door or a cat mm -hmm. flap? Uh, well, technically... And why are there bird doors? Because generally, people don't like their pet birds going out. <laughs> hey, look at that. It's just Alvarez digging. I didn't know dogs dug. You didn't? You didn't either. Sure it did. Oh, fine. Well, guess who else is great at digging? You. Me. Hello, I'm a fox. We dig from diapers. So I can spend the afternoon doing something I love and impressing the elves with some very convincing canine behavior. Hmm. I thought we were going to watch the Adventure Brothers Marathon Season 1. Sorry, pal. Opportunity knocks. We'll help, uh, Wash. Your paws and claws are too little to dig anything important. Actually, they can help. How about you two go find me a nice big bone to bury? Something that'll make a statement. Copy that. Great. Oh. Thanks a lot. Oh, Sam, you think I want to spend the whole day working? Playing the role of a great dog takes work, you know? Fine. I'll be inside. Sitting on the couch and watching the show. Like a great cat. <gasps> Any old dog can make a hole. Way to the living stones, see this! Look, you kid! The marathon is starting! Let's kick! Be in soon, buddy! <laughs> this is great! Finally, my own den, where I can relax and be a fox. But I gotta make it my own. My man cave. <laughs> Not bad, but the iced tea needs ice cubes. Fluff, Washington's doing something weird. What's new? Washington! Oh, hey, Sam. Oh, hey, Sam. 
what is up with you? You said you were coming in soon. Sorry, but Mr. and Mrs. L never showed up and I ended up digging more than I expected. I dug a fox den. What? Let me see. I can't. It's my man cave uh, for thinking about life and stuff. What? All alone? Without me? Sammy, you're my best pal. I just need a private place to relax. Stay in touch with my fox side. Sure, I get it. Later, too. <sighs> I'm his everything. Finally, a safe place to hang my photos. <sighs> but it still needs a certain something. What's he doing in that hole? Why does he just keep burying stuff and not covering it? Yeah, he's kind of interesting. Wait, you think Washington is interesting? No, what? Ugh, of course not. Uh, come on. <sighs> Should have done this months ago. Uh. Meow. Meow. <laughs> Meow. 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 What do you want? What are you doing down there? I lost something? You're acting weird. Yeah. Just what are you up to? Washington? Digging? <laughs> Uh-oh, you dug a great big hole. Oh, wow, it's a tunnel. Very impressive. <laughs> but very, very bad, bad dog. We're very disappointed. Time for a timeout. I hope you think about your behavior, mister. Sam! Sam! Come on, help! Ken, I'm at a quick commercial break. Anyway, I wouldn't want to interfere with your alone time. See you later, dummy. Yes, let's go. No! My stuff! My fox photos! <laughs> what did you stop, Fluff? Let's go! We're stuck, dummy. We're too fat to fit. But you're below me. Shut up! Push! No! This was a dumb idea, Nugget! I know, Fluff. I forgive you. We found an awesome bone wash! Okay, great! I'll leave it right here for you, Wash! See you later! Eugenie! Susie! Come here, girls! Did you hear that? Must be the echo. Echo who? Huh? Hey! I have to get out of here. <laughs> Sam! Nugget and Fluffy may be discovering the truth about us this very minute. What? They went down the hole. If they find my fox den, we're finished. I pasted up a bunch of our old pictures down there. Uh, you did? You put up pictures of us? Together? Yeah, of course. I thought you wanted to get away from me. No, jeez. I just wanted a little alone time. Can a guy get a little alone time? Best friendship reinstated. 
Yeah, but we gotta dig. Lucky, lucky. It is you. Are you snooping? Shh. Of course you're not, because there's nothing to snoop. But don't touch anything. We're coming. Washington? No dig. No dig. Bad boy. We've got a digger. Digger, reveal yourself. Oh, and my kittens are missing. You've got to find them. Sam, get the girls and bring them back you know where. I need help. <laughs> Fluffy, I have something to tell you. I ate that can of tuna you were saving. Nugget, I stole that can of tuna from Victoria, but it was still mine. <laughs> okay, guys, time for action. We need to get the girls before they get to my place. Everybody dig, now! Just need a little break. Whoa! This place doesn't seem so safe anymore. Hello, girls. <laughs> you're stuck. I mean, you're stuck. Help! No! First things first. What were you snooping around for? To get you in trouble. We fell in. Just get us out of here, please. Oh, please, Washington. <laughs> okay, guys, get up. No time to sleep. Fluffy, nugget. So, promise you'll never come near my man cave again. Never. Let's move out. Save the cats! That's why he was digging. Oh, Washington! We owe you a big apology, boy! Oh, thank you, Bannington. Waddington, whatever your name is. In the form of a sandwich! Here it is. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. No, should we call a pet sitter? We've never left them alone overnight before. Oh, honey, they'll be okay for one night. We'll be home in the morning. A pet sitter? Last time it was Nugget and Fluffy's cranky old lady. She watched game shows the whole time and ate all our treats. Ooh. It's time for you to be convincing, my friends. Do we really need a pet sitter? <coughs> hmm. Will you be good animals? <laughs> Fine. We'll try it. No pet sitter. We're trusting you. See you in the morning. Hey, we can use the extra money for Pancake Paradise. Mission accomplished. TV night is all ours. Yes. This is going to be great. <laughs> <laughs> oh. that if you screw things up, we'll end up with a pet sitter every single time they go away. Don't worry, we'll behave. Sam, how about a nice scary movie? Great idea! 
Mr. L always changes the channel. He gets really scared. Scary movie? No thanks. How about a game of tag? Huh? Oh no, not tag. about this restaurant. Come out of here, cheeky spirit! Ooh, it's so cute! Quick, activate the anti-ghost ring! Nothing stops ghost hunters! We should, um, probably go check on Eugenie and Susie, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a force of good that's going to do you bad, you nasty old ghost! <laughs> Your breath! It's horrible! <laughs> hey! Find another hiding place! But where? I don't know. Anywhere that's not around me. How about the bathroom? Go hide in the toilet. Huh? <laughs> oh, ugh, kids, they believe anything. Okay, we got one chance here. This magnet should enable the neutralization of the ectoplasm of the ghost. The ghost will take form and I'll finally be able to capture him. Oh, Vic's right. The toilet is the perfect place to hide. <laughs> huh? I'm sure I saw her coming here. Saying, Eugenie, what has gotten into you? It's Susie! It's Susie what? What am I doing here? <laughs> wow, that's fun! It's a pretty good hiding spot after all! Hello! <laughs> what? Oh. <sighs> Where'd they go? Huh? <laughs> Bet they got scared. <laughs> Susie. No. We'll never see her again. <gasps> what uh, the? Susie is a ghost. <laughs> ah! Wait a second. I know what to do. We too must become ghost hunters. <laughs> <laughs> Fear just change sides, huh? <laughs> Hello? Where are you? It's my huh? fault she became a ghost. She'll haunt me forever. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a stupid movie. It's coming from there, and it's getting closer. What on earth is going on in this madhouse? Susie was hiding in the toilet, and I flushed her down. <gasps> she's a ghost, and she's haunting the house. <laughs> huh? <gasps> it might, uh, kind of be my fault she's become a ghost. What if she haunts me forever? <gasps> okay, this magnet is going to enable the neutralization of the ectoplasm of the ghost. The ghost will take form, and I'll finally be able to capture him. I already heard that somewhere before.
ghost! The ghost! The ghost! Oh! Can't wait! Gotta go to the bathroom! Can't wait! Can't wait! Was it really necessary to come back just to use the bathroom? Come on, dear! You know I can only use my bathroom! No one moves! Oh! <sighs> well, I'm gonna make some tea. <gasps> we must have left it on when we were leaving. I'm feeling better now. Oh, hi guys. Where's Susie? Honey, can you please come in? There's a problem with the sink. Oh, that's weird. Oh. Looks like something's blocking the pipe. Listen, let's go back to the camp. We'll fix it when we come back. You're right, dear. Let's go. Pipes? The pipes. There are pipes. They're like, like underground tunnels. That explains everything. We dropped the magnet down the toilet, right? Yes, why? Because it wasn't the ghost dragging us up to the ceiling. It was the magnet. And that, and that Susie is hiding in the pipes and waiting for someone to find her. You are one clever fox, Wash. And you're smart, too. We're gonna pump her out of there. On the count of three. One, two, and three! <laughs> Keep jumping! It's working! There is no way I'm staying around here to be haunted the rest of my life. <laughs> Okay. Where are they? Oh, here they are. Hey, where's Susie? <laughs> See, all is well. They did just fine on their own. We did it. We proved to them that they can trust us. Hang on. Hello? Has anyone seen Victoria? <laughs> it's a nightmare. I'm going to wake up and have breakfast. Any. Minute now. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Flip, flip. Alakazam, Alakazir! What's Alakazam, Alakazir. he doing? Oh, he's playing Fancy Fetch. It's where you get dressed up and play fetch with a black and white stick. Amazing Alfie makes flowers appear! <coughs> Nuts! Why isn't this working? Oh, wrong sleeve. Yes, haha! I did it! It's amazing! I don't think this is fetch. Where did those flowers come from? Obviously, they came from the garden he's hiding in his arm. Ah, there's nothing like a good dinner. 
remind me what it's like to be a boar. Know what I mean, Susie? Sure do. Sometimes I just fly around to remind me what it's like to be a bird. But you're a bird disguised as a bird. When do you not feel like a bird? Eugenie, stop! Holes are dangerous. You don't know what's down there. Fine. What are you guys doing? Watching Alfie. He's doing a weird fetch dance with his garden arm. <laughs> What is he doing with that bunny? I can't see! Eugenie, stop! You could get hurt! Or worse, really hurt! What is it with you today, Sam? Why aren't you letting me do anything? I'm just looking out for you. As your big brother, it's my job to do that. When I remember to. Well, I don't need you to. I'm a big boar, and I can take care of myself. Sam Alakazir! Whoa! Where did the bunny go? Clearly, the bunny went to the market to get hors d'oeuvres. Huh, you don't know the rules of fancy fetch at all. Wash, stop pretending you know what's happening. He's doing a magic trick. Humans watch them for fun. Ah, sounds like fun! Not if it means being close to Alfie. One time, he spit bubblegum in my fur. Uh? He's gross and sticky and a menace to animals everywhere. <sighs> You've been through so much! Oh no! Bunny, I'm sorry! I don't know my own strength! Why? <laughs> Told you, he's a lunatic. Alfie! What happened? I I lost my bunny because I'm super strong and now all my friends will think I'm a bad magician, which means I'll never get invited to birthday parties, which means I'll never have cake again! Cake! <laughs> hey, <laughs> is this your bunny? Yep, her name's Eugenie, remember? Could I borrow her? Huh? Well, uh, Alfie, I... Please, please, please! It's show and tell at my school and I need a bunny for my magic trick. What am I supposed to do? Make a rock disappear? No one cares about rocks, Mr. L. <laughs> rocks are stupid! Okay, okay. You can borrow Eugenie if you promise to take very good care of her. I'll do better than that. I'll take very, 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 very good care of her. We're gonna have the best day ever. We gotta rescue her! Who's with me? Me! Aren't you coming, Vic? As much as I long to be a hero, someone's gotta stay behind in case Eugenie comes home. You're so smart and selfless! We're so close, I can almost taste it! <laughs> <laughs> It tastes like dirty bus. Hurry up, guys! No time to sleep! We're coming for you, Eugenie! Eugenie can fly! No, she can't! They're tossing her around! Yo! My baby sister's in danger! She could get hurt or air sick or swallow a fly! Well, those kids can find her zipper and know she's not a real bunny! You didn't see what happened to the last bunny? So many dangers! Oh, aren't you the cutest? I could hug you all day. So fluffy. <laughs> if Sam could see me now, he'd know I could take care of myself. <laughs> you guys should really stop running into things with your faces. Oh, so cute! <laughs> wow, your buddy's funny. I wish I had one instead of a stupid goldfish. Eugenie, you're cooler than a T-Rex and a lion combined. We're gonna kick butt at the show and tell. I heard there was a project today. Everybody in? Great. <laughs> We're almost there, buddy. Except for this locked fence. And humans everywhere. What do you want to do before school starts? Let's play pirates! Arr, Eugenie! Let's dig for treasure! Arr! Uh. Is she digging? 
She knows how I feel about home. It's going to be okay, Sam. It's not like... Ah! Oh, no! Is she yeah. in a tree? You need to be on the lookout for scoundrels who are after me treasure. This is awesome. Hey, is that Sam and Wash? That's not safe. Eugenie, stop jumping. Screaming doesn't help, Sam. Susie, can you send a message? <laughs> Susie, check it out. I'm in the tree. No way, me too. Oh, and I have a message from Sam. He says, get down from this tree this instant, young lady. Why is he being so overprotective? I'm fine. I don't have a scratch on me. You can tell him I say no. I'm having a blast. Besides, Alfie's nice. Elfie must have given Eugenie a head injury because that's crazy talk. That's the last straw. We've got to find a way in without being seen. I have an idea. Shh! Hey, Bush. Quiet, Sam. Bushes don't talk. You're going to blow our cover. What if someone hears you? They'd have super hearing because no one's here. Where is everyone? Yeah! Welcome to Show and Tell, everyone. First up is Billy. Hello, everyone. This is my pet, Ant. Oh, oh no! Where'd he go? No one move! He has a family! <laughs> All right, Billy. We'll keep an eye out for your tiny pet, Ant. Oh, okay. Next up is, uh... The Amazing Alfie! I am the Amazing Alfie! <laughs> For my first trick, I'm gonna make my bunny <laughs> magically disappear! <laughs> Alakazam! Alakazat! Eugenie, disappear in this hat! Huh? <laughs> Now where are we going to get Eugenie now? Oh, no. This is what happened to the last bunny right before it landed in the street. Wait! Where did she go? Huh? <gasps> where did she go? Is this part of the show? This is better than TV. Elsie brought those bushes to life. I did? Oh, that's great. My magic powers are stronger than I knew. Kids, inside now. We have to get to Alfie. He's the only one who can bring Eugenie back. Sam! Huh? Sam! <laughs> Eugenie, you didn't disappear. Of course not, silly. I've just been hanging out in here. Check it out. <laughs> Pretty sweet, huh? Alfie made it. I was worried sick about you. And you were lounging? You don't need to be worried. I'm big enough to handle things on my own. I know I'm adorable, but I'm not a baby. She's right, Sam. Eugenie was on her own all day, and she's still in one piece. Oh. <laughs> I guess you're right. I just worry because I care. You may not be a baby, but you'll always be my little sister. And you'll always be my big brother. <laughs> and I'll always be a bird. Sorry, I thought we were all saying what we are. I'll try to be less overprotective. <laughs> That's all I ever want. Today. Sorry, I don't want to disturb your touching reconciliation, but what are we doing with Alfie? The panic will spread. We'll be accused of black magic. That's right. And you said he was nice. However, he's disgusting and sticky. You're right. Let's go party. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that's not fair. Look what you did. You ruined show and tell. Turn those bushes back. I'm sorry, but I don't know how. Huh? Mm -hmm. Alakazam, Alakazop. Magic, make those bushes stop! It was awesome. The bushes were like poof, and the kids were like ah, but I saved the day. Watch. 
Alakazam, Alakazi! Magic, help me move that tree! Huh? Wow, Alfie, you're quite the magician. You just need to practice. I can't believe I woke up for this. Huh? The tree's alive! It really is magic! That's it! Here we are! <laughs> you see? I told you it was useful to dig holes! <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. stupid costume is killing me! Who knew wearing two layers of fur could be so hot? This must be what it's like to be a baked potato! I just want to rub my bare belly on a blanket of fresh moss under the shade of a pine tree. Oh, the whining. That's the price you pay for the fake life. You have no idea how much hard work it takes to fool everybody. You think it's so marvelous in this costume? Costume is marvelous! <laughs> <laughs> okay, gang, we're off to the neighborhood carnival. If we can learn to walk in this thing. We'll be back late! Left you extra kibble! Ouch! Sorry, hon. Whoop. Friends, thanks to the elves spending the day in costume, we get to spend this very hot day out of costume. Yippee! Yippee! We're bad enough with your costumes on, but au natural, it's like bring on the barbarians. Yes! We should air these babies out. To the right, dear. No, that way. Oh, wait a sec. Stop! Oh, hello, Alvarez. Nice costume there, Living Stones. Why, thanks, Mr. Snubinski. The only drawback is how hot it gets inside. Oh, that's why you're gushing? I thought you were dressed up as Niagara Falls. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll go home and change. Wash! Wash! Disaster City! Our costumes are gone! Sam? You're just not used to running around in your birthday suit. All this freedom is making you nervous. Somebody stole our costume? Our huh? costumes! <laughs> hey, what are you all looking at me for? Ha <laughs> ha, so hilarious. Now give us our costumes back, please. Uh, I don't have them. But even if I did, you were sick of your stupid costumes anyway, weren't you? Whatever. With my super nose, I'll find them in no time. Seeing what they smell like, that should be a cinch. <laughs> I'm getting a whiff over here. <laughs> yeah! Alfie and Gracie stole our costumes. Are we allowed to panic now? No, focus. We have to get our costumes back, otherwise it's bye-bye good life and a hello gloomy forest. Oh no, how can I help? Return you to the forest, that is. Huh? Mm -hmm. There! All that's left are Eugenie and Susie's costumes. Ooh. They must have gone to the carnival in ours. Ours were too small. Or they smell too good. My wonderful costume! No! What are we going to do? Well, we can't hang outside stark naked. I know that. <laughs> Back so soon? Victoria! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's got so uncomfortable. I can't wait. Ah! Oh, yes, it's so hot. Oh, now, is 
Isn't it more comfortable being a Roman than a horse? You can say that again. And we can see where we're going, too. Okay, we got ourselves a breather, but we've got to get our costumes back before the elves come home. But how? We can't go out like this. You're right. But fortunately, we have the perfect costume. Stay close to me. We can't let anyone see us. Yeah, well, I can't see anything at all. We're going to a real carnival with rides and everything. This is going to be awesome. Well, if this is any indication, it's definitely going to be memorable. Look! Like I said. Sorry, those were your ears. We thought you were us. Uh, you know what? Never mind. Hey, Wash! Hey, Wash! Not now, Eugenie. No time for games. Bummer, because I thought we were playing tag with Gracie and Alfie. Say what? Well, yeah, they went that way. Okay, gotta be super discreet. The best thing for us is to split up. Sam and I will go this way. Victoria, you go that way with Susie and Eugenie. What? No way! I only tagged along so I could watch you make fools of yourselves. I have no intention of babysitting. <sighs> so I guess we're spending the rest of the afternoon together. Is that the deal? Oh, yes! <sighs> Come on! There's tons of rides we want to try out! <sighs> Oh, it's a furnace in here. Phew, life was more comfortable as a cat. Don't sweat it. We'll have our old costumes back in no time. And then we'll never, ever take them off again. Hey, hey, why don't you look where you're going? Living stones? Back so soon? I thought you were going to change costumes. Nothing in your size. <laughs> what do we do? I don't know. Wait. Say what? Hey, are you all right in there? You seem a bit out of sorts there, Livingstone. Maybe you should go back home. <laughs> so, dude, anything exciting happened while we were gone? But, but, you, the horse. You seem a bit out of sorts there, Snubinsky. Maybe it's the heat. Why don't you go home? Huh? There's something I can't understand. Yeah! <laughs> can't let them out of our sight. Now that we've lost Alfie, Gracie, and our costumes. Susie, do a flyby and see if you can't spot Alfie and Gracie from up there. Oh, is this a game? Exactly, that's what it is. Like hide and seek. I see them. They're heading home. Oh, and I think I also see the living stones. I think they're going home too. Quick, we've got 
gotta catch them before the elves get home. Susie, you guide us. Aren't you guys getting bored with all this running? This time, there's no letting them get away. More of this. I promise I will never, ever let you out of my sight again. Oh, poor guys. You had to stay home alone all day. Must have been boring. And that's why we brought you a little surprise. <laughs> Since you couldn't come to the carnival, we brought the carnival home to you. Ta-da! Costumes! Now we'll all be able to party together. <laughs> I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. So, I put the energy commuters in, I activate the directional multiprocessor, and good as new. Yay, it's fixed! Who's a techno wizard? Who? <laughs> a simple nap on my own armchair. Please let me know when I can come back. One more magic trick, one more. Well, since you insist, now that I fixed it, I can do this. Oh. Or this. Ha! Oh. Or this. Big hurry. He's not just a vacuum cleaner, he's a computer. And thanks to his fancy computer parts, he can clean your house without you. So go out and enjoy life. Great home. Now, there is a piece of technology worthy of my talents. And Craig is a great name. It's for me! Is it your new action figure? No, but almost as cool. Oh. I am Craig. I What's am going old. on? <gasps> is that Craig, the computer vacuum cleaner from TV? You know him? Of course! Oh, sweetie, you're the best! Now we can go out and enjoy life! I bet that was quite a splurge. I, uh, yeah, right! Nothing is too good for my wife! Oh. Scanning! Oh. Scanning! Scanning! It's incredible! Diagnosis, healthy! You are likely busy professionals. It is okay. Crank is home. Let's not waste another second in this pigsty. <laughs> Let's go to Mexico. Let's meet my new friend. Craig, I'm Washington. Hello, I am Craig. Oops. Sorry, dude. No hands. Look. I hear you're very smart. Guess what? I am too, so I... Hello, I am 
am Craig. I am home. Hello, I am Craig. I am home. Oh, okay. We'll talk more later. I am Craig. Huh? I am home. person in this house. Now, I would like to sleep. Dirty! Oh. What? A vacuum? Ah! No! Oh, wow! A vacuum! Uh, um, how it's may I help you? I think she's trying to sing. It's a vac... vac a vacuum cleaner, <gasps> yes. And also a computer. I ordered him. For a scientific experiment. What? You're the one who brought that monster into the house? Technically speaking, it wasn't me, me. <laughs> Ow, again! <gasps> Yippee! <laughs> oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> Wait, look what he can do. Craig, over here, buddy. <laughs> Dirty, dirty, dirty. Dirty, dirty, dirty. Yes, I knew. Well, Craig, you don't really seem all that smart. My expert opinion tells me there's a glitch in his fancy computer parts, and that's a job for a high tech whiz, which is me. Washington, stay away. Send that monster back to its lair. We have a broom. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh. Nice. I think you broke him. <laughs> now we're talking. <laughs> I love hacking. Nice job, genius. Okay, so he needs a minor adjustment. <laughs> now he should work like a charm. Um, what? Is this normal? Oh, yeah. The lights are just decoration. It's a bad dream. It's a bad dream. Wake up. Wake up. Come on, morning. Okay, Craig. I'm starting to regret this purchase. I know where the receipt is. Faster, Sam. You're going to get your butt vacuumed up. Come on. Get lost, you. Bad appliance. Do I even need to say it? You're a big dummy. Thanks for a great day. No, but seriously, we're safe up here. Safe? Oh, sure. Everything is fine. In fact, I think I'll just... Uh... Hey, look! Craig wants to play tag, too! find a way out of the house. Can you guys hear me? <laughs> Barely, you guys! Vic, you'll lure Craig. No way am I going to be breakfast for that crazy vacuum. You brought him into the house. You'd make him leave. Okay, look. I have other great plans. Just head out the door. Forget the plan. Dirty, dirty. Sam, remember the plan! Hey, this way! Come on! Sam, we're good! Come on, quick! Dirty, dirty. We're trapped. 
Forte. Real slow now. No sudden movement. I don't want to run away anymore. I'm stronger than that machine. You don't scare me, you stupid can! Oh! Oh, you guys, give him more stuff to suck up. We gotta fill him up. This is even better than cartoons. <laughs> There's nothing left to throw! Yes, there is! That! It was great knowing you, Wash. You too, Vic. No, not you! Your costumes! Impossible! No way am I going back to the forest! Oh, yeah? You'd prefer to be swallowed and ground to a pulp by a killer robot? You've got no choice, Wash. Farewell, dream home. outside and enjoy life again. We'll pretend we never saw this. Let's go back to Mexico. I still don't understand what went wrong. Well, on the bright side, I no longer wish I had my computer. <laughs> Looks like I made a very smart exchange. Cut, cut, cut. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. smell something stinky? All I can smell is the heat. Hmm, you mean like a rotten cauliflower? Yeah, just like that. I smell it now, but I think it's a pile of dirty wet socks. Mm -hmm. You're both wrong. It's Sam. Come on, Vic. That's a low blow. Of course it's not. <laughs> Hey, Washington. Trying to drink this milk, but it's kind of chunky. It's your smell, Sam. It's curdled the milk. Oh, well, it is a hot day. And bats are very boring. Sam, what 
when was the last time you had one? Yes, let's see. One, two. What month is it? What? No wonder you smell. Yeah, I smell great. Unique. <laughs> <laughs> smell great, you smell gross. Can't you smell your stink? No, that is the, uh, uh, skunk. I know you're not blaming me for that stench, yo, but you want some of my stink, just say so. Uh, we're fine. You're very scary, though. Impressive. Well, the skunk's gone, but the stink is not. Love me, love my smell. This is going to be a long summer. Would you like a bacon sandwich, dear, or bacon between two pieces of bread? I think I'd prefer a piece of bacon with bread on each side. <laughs> <laughs> What's that smell, honey? It's certainly not bacon. It smells almost boarish. Like a wild boar, don't you think? Yes, it's just like wild boar. But how could that be? <gasps> Hear that? The elves are about to discover our secret, thanks to Sam's stink. They won't smell it if we secretly stick branches up their nostrils. True, but I think they might notice branches up their nostrils. Well, until we <laughs> find the source, we just need... Air, air freshener. freshener! And we need some boar freshener. Good luck finding that at the store. If you'll excuse me, I need to go breathe. We may not be able to buy boar freshener, but we can make a super crazy smell to disguise Sam's stink. We'll start with bacon grease. Ha ha! Who can resist that? Add some musky aftershave. A little garlic. A dash of toothpaste. A slice of shag carpet. No! no! A roll of toilet paper? No! no! A trumpet! Fine. Oh, good! I love the smell of music! The moment of truth! <laughs> Ooh! That is beyond my wildest expectations! <laughs> Oh, so you like my smell now, huh? I knew you'd learn to love my natural aroma. Everyone does. Right. That's exactly it. I love your natural wild boar smell. Huh? What is that? It's... it's... It's my natural smell. Leave me alone if you don't like it. But... but I love it. I love you. Where could it have come from? <laughs> oh, Sam, it's not you, is it? He smells... He smells... So delightful! delightful. <laughs> have a snack, you charming devil. And you can take our bed tonight. We'll sleep in the garden. Coast is clear. A bacon raid can commence. Hello, ladies. Move it, Scuttlebutt. Before we... <laughs> Kiss you from head to toe! You look all tense. Let me massage these knots. You're so cool. Yes, I know. Oh, oh, no! Hurry up! We have to go to his place right now! Come on! <sighs> Sam's stink is sorted out and I can finally chillax. Sam is in the building, fans! Oh, ah, yeah! Eugenie, Susie, what's wrong with you? They love me and my awesome smell. Oh, no! My super crazy boar freshener, it's too powerful! Here, girls, it's me. It's Scratch and Sniff. <laughs> I need to 
talk to you. And I need to talk to you, Washington. Listen, I decided to ditch the disguise. What? What are you saying? The elves will know you're a boar. Big deal. They love the boar smell, they'll love the boar. <laughs> Sam, what everyone loves isn't your smell. They love this. You're just jealous of my natural... That stuff does smell good. It's aftershave and bacon grease with a few secret spices. We mixed it up, didn't we, girls? But I thought it was me that everyone liked. <laughs> Sam, what are you doing? That stuff's powerful. <laughs> <laughs> Come back to our place, Sam. You can stay forever. <laughs> it's time for our wedding dance, Dreamboat. <laughs> <laughs> Smelling so incredible is a lot of pressure. <laughs> Phew. That's better. A bit of peace and quiet. It's that fat cat that yeah. smells so good. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Get it, get it. Get it. Hey, oh. Good kitty. No, no. The whole city loves me much too much. Washington, stop me from smelling so sweet. I'll do anything. Even a boring bath? I'm ready. Bathe me. <laughs> that ought to do it. You sure? to dry clean. <laughs> that ought to do it. You sure? Oh! Ah! I'm never gonna get this stuff off me. I'll be hunted forever. There must be a way. Okay, we got rid of your stick by overpowering it with something stronger. Hurry up, Washington! I can't feel my eyes! So we're going to need to overpower that with something even stronger! Super stronger! There's nothing stronger than this delicious aroma! There's one possible thing, but it won't be pretty! Who cares about pretty? Okay. I'll always love him. Love who? I don't remember. There she is. Does she see us? Just wait. Is that smell you? You like that? Uh-huh. That is sweet. <laughs> I like your smell, too. Very funny. He's serious. You splash his back, we'll splash yours. Now you're just messing with me. No, no, we... Yeah, we are. You're a stinky, stinky skunk. Why, you lousy... Gross. <laughs> Thanks. You are one weird cat. Just in case you're not messing. So how do I smell? <laughs> Tomatoes, the best cure for a skunk stink. Sorry, Sam. Sorry? I love a good tomato bath. So, from now on, you can call me Sam Marinera. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. 
With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Also included in your training kit, this beautiful dog whistle that only dogs can hear. <laughs> Guaranteed to make your dog sit up and pay attention. That's amazing. I need one for my wash. Huh, Wash? What do you think? Psst. Wash, do the dog. <laughs> <laughs> Good boy, Washington! Another wasted nap. Thank you, Washington. Welcome back to the news, everyone, and for our final story of the evening. Tonight is a very special night for all you stargazers out there. At 9.46 p.m., a special full moon, the one astronomers are calling the Red Fox Moon because of its brilliant red glow. <laughs> It happens only once every 50 years, and it's going to be a major event. Uh, beware the were-fox. Enjoy the red fox moon, everyone. Were-fox? What does that even mean? Oh, boy. Let's have a red fox moon party. <laughs> oh! <laughs> 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 I'm gonna get the moon food. Here comes the moon fire. Here comes the moon food. I'm gonna get some great shots of the moon for my website. The website that only I follow? <laughs> Can you believe it, Wash? We're gonna see a red Hoo moon tonight. Hope we don't see any were foxes. <laughs> were fox? Can someone please explain? Oh yeah, you've never heard of a were fox? It's like a werewolf, except it's not as cute. Huh. Soon, Washington, you'll turn into an ugly, howling, drooling, biting, scratching, uncontrollable wild beast. Come on, guys. You don't actually <laughs> believe that. There's no such thing as a... Ooh! Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh! <laughs> what timing! I can't believe my luck. See? It's happening already. And the moon isn't even really red yet. Hope everyone is having a good time tonight waiting for the red moon. Yes! Good. Now does everyone have their sausages on the grill? Ooh, come on! <gasps> Let's get the sausages. What do you say? We'll be right back! <laughs> you gonna watch me like that all night? No. Maybe yes. <sighs> Sam, listen to me. Nothing is gonna happen. <laughs> Come on, Sam. You know me. We grew up together. We're like brothers. <laughs> <laughs> You're drooling! <laughs> A little bit too salty. Huh? <laughs> okay, drooling check. Now, scratchy time. Hi, guys. <laughs> hey, potty.
Hey, people, we're only a short bit away from the big event. Let's keep spinning those moon tunes. Where foxes are scary. <laughs> Sam, enough! I am not going to turn into some wild, scary, biting, and scratching beast! Come on! Seriously! I told you everything is fine! Nothing is going to happen! It's happening! Itchy, scratching beast! No, 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 Sam. Nothing is happening. I was just suddenly itchy. Let the howling begin. Ow! <laughs> Good evening, ma'am. Meow. And cool outfit, by the way. <laughs> you like to bark? You're gonna scream. Spirit Washington? <laughs> Looks like someone here is getting in touch with their inner werefox, huh, boy? <laughs> oh, my friends can't be wrong. We're drawing even closer to the Red Fox Moon Party, people. It's not long now. Oh. Oh. From where we are, the is turning more and more red every second. <laughs> Just look at yourself. You're a crazy twitching mess. It's happening, Vic. I'm trying not to, but I can't. Vic, you gotta hide me and keep me away from everyone before I turn. Oh, yes. Yes, we have to hide it's you. It's almost that time! Oh boy, I can't wait! Hey, where's Washington? We can't do this without man's best friend. Too late. Come here, buddy. Ah. Ah. Come on! You don't want to miss it. Oops, Take sorry, Vic. from the red box moon, everyone. Ten. Nine, sorry again. Eight, seven, <laughs> six, five, <laughs> Your cat Wait, what? Hide your coming. cat? That means it's Put on your... Uh-oh. I forget I'm a... Get back here, werefox! You leave my pets alone!
You were? Hey, I guess you were. Wait, my costume! Is everyone okay? Our, 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 our good boy, Washington! You chased off that werefox, didn't you? And in our final story of the night, we've got some interesting pictures from a red fox moon party last night, where a real life werefox was spotted. Check these out. Those are my pictures on TV! <coughs> That's my hubby! <laughs> I don't know. Something tells me that that's a dog in a very good costume. <laughs> Are they saying I'm an idiot? <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. I've gotten really good at this. <laughs> Get Minnie! He's almost uh, here! You're asking for trouble. Stupid mail! Stupid sunshine! Come to Papa. <laughs> here! Arr, 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 arr. <laughs> Very funny, dog. You got a real weird bark, you know that? Hey, dog! Here's something to make some noise about. It's a letter from the vet. Ha <laughs> ha! Wait, did he say letter from the vet? Yep, it's a letter from the vet, all right. See, that's his necklace. And a letter from the vet is never good. Yeah. Maybe it's time for sure! Or maybe our ears are too long. Maybe he wants to cut them off. Yeah. Or maybe he just figured out who we are. Yeah. Huh? No! no. <laughs> cool. From my collection. What did you do that for? What if they were expecting that letter? They'll blame the mailman. The post office never makes a mistake. Everybody knows that. Oh no, it was us! I mean you! Huh? Ah! Ah! <laughs> Calm down, everybody, because I got it all worked out. See? This is a good thing. You heard me. A good thing. We replace the letter in Sam's stomach with a brand new one. A better one. A letter that will say whatever we want. Mm -hmm. We'll pretend it's from the vet, and we'll say that we are in perfect health and that he never needs to see us again. Yay! Yay! <laughs> I'm all for no more vet visits, but how are you going to write a letter? How are you going to write, period? Hmm. Vic, I think you're forgetting I'm a super slick fox. I mean, if I can manage this... I can figure out how to write. Yeah, how hard can writing be? Go for it. But so you know, it's got to be on the vet's special paper. The one that has his little necklace on it. Uh-oh, really? Yep, otherwise, they'll know it's a fake. No biggie, where do we get some? In his office. Uh -huh. <laughs> Great, point the way. It's at the corner, by the coffee shop. Got it. Sam, you're coming with me. Me? To the vet? I don't want to run into the vet. 
like I do, but someone ate the letter. I think you guys should all go. Safety in numbers, right? Well, I guess you're right. Let's go. <sighs> that little adventure should take all day. <sighs> now what? How do we get in? We came all the way and we can't even get into the building. Wait! I think I see a solution to our problem. Quick, act normal. <laughs> I said normal like animal pets. <laughs> Come on, Modi. It'll be fine. You don't need all those teeth anymore. <laughs> We each have to pick one human to walk inside with, and don't forget what you have to do once you're there. Let's go! <laughs> you. Hello, Baldy. Uh, come in and let's replace those disgusting old teeth of yours. Look at my dog, John. All new teeth. No pain. He looks like a puppy again. You're a big kitty. Look at that big nose of yours. <laughs> and your teeth, they stick out. Weird. Where on earth am I going to find this? Look, big kitty. This is my hamster, Oscar. Oscar, say hi to big kitty. Hello. Oh, Oscar, he always faints. <laughs> Mio! Mio! <laughs> Here we have our top model. These would make old Moldy look like a movie star. Now think about it. I'll grab the forms for you to sign. <laughs> Come on, I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm gonna make you look good and young again. Hi there, nice little rabbit. What's going on? What's all the noise back there? Why is he barking? Oh, Oscar. Vet papers and vet envelopes must be worth a fortune, so he would hide them. I must think like a vet. Where would I, a vet, hide them? Nurse, that bone wasn't enough. I need some pills to calm him. They're in your office, Doctor. Oh, yes, of course. I almost forgot. Yeah. 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 On here. That's odd for a cat. This cat needs to have these two teeth out as soon as possible. They're probably infected. Don't oh, that fur, it's so wet and sticky. Whose pet is this? Who brought a sick animal in here? <sighs> of course! In my vet desk! Aha! Hmm? Ah, bingo! Nurse, <laughs> <laughs> help! That weird cat needs to be sedated right now! Ah. 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 We've got to save Sam! Yuck! He's sick 
better than I thought. But stop moving like that. are in perfect health. And I, their vet, do not need to see them ever again. Yay, Washington! Thank you, thank you. What can I say? I'm a natural. Can we add and give them plenty of snacks? Easy. And give them plenty of snacks. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. Sign the vet. Yay, Yay Washington! You're here! Oh, look! A letter from the vet! The vet! I love these red envelopes. What's the letter about, honey? I... Uh... <laughs> I'm not really sure. See for yourself. What on earth? This handwriting is terrible, even for a doctor. <laughs> okay, so I need to practice. I'm gonna call the vet to see what's going on. Whoa, look! Uh -huh. <laughs> Cheap trick, Mush! And of course, we appreciate you taking the time to write, Doctor, but perhaps you could tell me what you wrote? Oh, yes, the letter. I ran into the mailman last week. He told me that Washington has a rather strange bark. Oh, dear. Maybe we should bring him in. Why don't you? I'm offering 50% off all my doses all by uh, Oh. <laughs> Finally a perfect board. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. This is just what I needed. A little chill time in the park. I like to chill on the couch, but then I'm a cat. I don't really like the park or other animals, do we, Vic? What? <laughs> come on, boy, come on. Let's play fetch. Oh, no, not this game again. I don't get it. What's the point? I know. There's not even treats. Come on, Wash! Let's go, boy! <laughs> as soon as we get back, I'm burying all the furry green balls where no one can find them ever again. Go get it, Wash! Go on, fetch! <laughs> Watch it, Washington! That's my ball! <laughs> hey! <laughs> Alvarez! I can see you, Washington. I can see all of you. And you're all coming back to the wild with me. 
where you belong. <laughs> fetch, wash, fetch! <sighs> fetch, wash, fetch, fetch, fetch. Good boy, Washington. Good boy. Arf, arf. As always, Arbor, as you are perfection. Woof, woof. Woof, woof. Alvarez is simply the best. Oh, but my Washington can... Alvarez brings that ball back no matter what. Uh, uh, no matter what. You get back here! I can't make Mr. L look bad in front of Mr. Snubinsky and Alvarez. I just can't. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Where are you, you stupid fuzzy ball? Oh, tough stuff, Livingstone. Looks like your dog lost the ball. Not good, not good. Fetch the ball, Washington, fetch! <laughs> 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 Game over, boy! <sighs> Game over. <laughs> Mr. L seems really embarrassed. I found your ball wash, and now you have to come get it from me. <laughs> Ooh, it's the pretty little house cat. She has to come too, silly little ball. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Sam. Help mm -hmm. me get that ball back. But I'm a cat. I'm supposed to relax. <sighs> Okay. Who oh, can we help? What do we do? <laughs> Sorry, bash him out, that old boy. Go over there and try and cheer him up. <laughs> and Vic, you. Ooh, I know what I can do. Nothing. <laughs> 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 I thought I saw it land over in this area, but I don't see it. Well, maybe it bounced further back. After it landed and rolled up the hill, turned around that corner with the big trees, and fell down a hole where it came out by a river, and went downstream where it was discovered by little green men from outer space. Ha <laughs> ha, very funny. What is? Uh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 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 
<gasps> what the huh? Mitch? Come on, we gotta get that ball back. But be careful, we can't let him see us or he'll take us back into the wild. Are you trying to take my ball? Uh, well, technically that's our ball. No! You can't have it! It's my ball! Mine! My ball! Because I'm a cat. Phew, I think we lost him. Where are you guys? That's my ball. Mine. Give it back. <laughs> Come on, Sam. Let's go cheer up Mr. L. Surprise! Uh oh. Ball! <coughs> Fudge! Get it, Holly! Go get it! Aha! Hmm. <coughs> um, you can keep her. Yeah. We'll take the ball. What? Are you serious? Washington? <laughs> what are you saying? You heard me. I mean, she never wants to play with us, and she never really wants to help us either, so yeah. Bye, Ben. Enjoy life in the wild. Arf, arf, arf. Washington? Washington? Wash, good boy. You always bring that ball back, no matter what. <laughs> Alvarez, get ready, boy. Oh! I got it! I got it! I got it! <laughs> no, go away! It's my ball! My ball! <laughs> You weren't really gonna leave me in the woods with Mitch, were you? Of course not. It was all part of my plan. I knew he couldn't resist the ball. I just needed a second to make it happen. Hmm. Oh, and I didn't really mean what I said. Though it's all true, but I didn't mean it. I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. That breeze. Not really. No, our first date. 
<laughs> oh, sorry to disturb. We were just admiring your mangy fur. How do you do it? A special shampoo? Or maybe an ugly brush? <laughs> <laughs> do is order new costumes. Yeah. What? How? On the magic screen with all the little buttons. The elves order stuff on it all the time. You <laughs> mean a computer? Yeah, that's what I said. Who's the expert, huh? Now, all we have to do is order. Error. Please try again. <laughs> error. 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 Thank you, Mr. Ah. Stone. Order complete. Ah. Please await processing. You see? Told you I'm an expert. The computer even knew who I am. <sighs> right. You just got lucky. Your order will be delivered in five. Four, three, two, one. It's here. Hey! Take care of this, would you, Vic? Watch where you... <laughs> <laughs> Fine, I'll just go ahead and take care of these. We... we messed up the order. I've never seen anything like this in the forest. They're awesome! We do look pretty cool, don't we? You sure this doesn't make me look too fat? Yeah. Hey, what kind of animals are you anyway? The uh, well. Uh, what if they're wild animals? <laughs> Ridiculous! Just think about it. If these were wild animals, we would have known them in the forest. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, that's good. Mr. Computer Expert messed up his order. <laughs> I can reorder the right ones in five seconds. No problemo. Hey oh. Quick, we gotta put the old costumes back on. Where are they? Vic? You said take care of them, so I took care of them. They're in the trash. What? Oh yeah, that was so much fun, wasn't it? Vic, you gotta get them back. From the dumpster? Vic, please! There's no way I'm going to dirty my fur twice in the same day. If washed... <laughs> Where are the others? Don't worry, honey. You know them. They can't be far. You two stay here, okay? Sam and I are going to get our costumes. What's going on? It seems like everyone's scared of us. Of us? Do I really look scary in this thing? Scary? Nah, more like ridiculous. <sighs> yeah. Come on. Discover Stash Paste's new product by Criminus Lab. With Stash Paste by Criminus Lab, forget about your old life. The new one will be hairy and fairy. Oh, wow. That looks amazing. I absolutely <laughs> need one. Ooh, a documentary on exotic animals living in far off lands? I'm in. Did you see that? Wash is a lion. Shh, look. These far flung corners of the globe are inhabited by strange animals. This nocturnal mammal who lives in the savannas of Africa it's never me. Yikes. How ugly is that thing? I can't even look at it. 
The owl bark returns to its burrow before sunrise and before the lion has uttered his first roars of the day. <laughs> I really think it's us everyone's afraid of. Of course not. They're scared of the driver. Meanwhile, thousands of kilometers from the Savannah Plains, the Cobra Moth flutters carefree through the jungle. Hey, that's me! This African butterfly is about to commit a fatal error. It is going to brush its large wings against the whiskers of a Bengal tiger. And that's Sam about to attack you! <laughs> the police! We're safe! Hang on, Sam! They're gonna arrest him! Like every day, the Babarusas are playing in the mud. Breaking news, brought to you by Stash Pace, a criminous product. We interrupt this program to bring you the highly coincidental news that exotic animals from far off lands have invaded our city. Huh? It's Wash and Sam! The question on everyone's mind at this hour, can these stunning beasts be tamed and turned into household pets? What do the experts have to say? Uh, no. But that means Sam and Wash might be... Your turn, coward! Hey, over here! Oh! The vet? What's he doing here? Maybe he's gonna stop the truck with that. <laughs> Wash, I don't think he's trying to stop the truck. <laughs> I don't always agree with you, but for once, I think you're right. Quick, we're heading for the botanical garden. Bird on our team. <laughs> That's the unmistakable roar of a tiger. They can't be caught. I bet Sam and Wash are in there. You stay here. I'll go. <laughs> Come on, you coward. It's up to you, Vladimir. Guys! Susie! Susie. Are you nuts? The vet will send us back to the forest. The forest? With those costumes, he's gonna send you to the jungle. <laughs> Not fun for a boy and a fox. Quick, Eugenie's waiting for us. <laughs> <laughs> a fox and a wild boar? <laughs> the things you find in botanical gardens these days. Wait a sec, those are wild animals. Shouldn't we return them to the forest? Are you kidding? We're looking for a lion and a tiger. That's a million times more exciting. Are you sure you're okay, Vladimir? It can be pretty dangerous. <laughs> Your costumes aren't in here. We're done for. Game over. <laughs> <laughs> Sammy, while you guys were in the garden distracting them, I got to the truck and grabbed our disguises. All part of your plan. Right, Washington? Ah. Yeah. Hey there, guys. Did, did you see that hangry lion and that vicious tiger? Chill, guys. We scared them away. Huh? <laughs>
Do you smell this? It smells like garbage. <laughs> we, we still have bear spots in our costumes. Oh. Rats, we can't order new costumes now. Mr. Rail's on his computer. <laughs> Hello, it's me, the bearded woman. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that face. Where are the pets? We're going to scare them. What in the world is that? The stash paste. The stash what? The stash oh. paste. Uh -huh. They put it everywhere. On my toys, on the pillows, and even on me. They like it a lot. Come on, let's go. Be generous. Hey, they're in the kitchen. Hello, furry. Meow. Oh. Yeah. Arf, arf. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Listen, ladies, if you're not staying hydrated and getting a solid 20 hours of sleep a day, you're going to show your age. Yes, Susie? Are we all? Oh, yes, good question. No, not yet, but you will one day. You want to put that off as long as possible. Why? Because, my dear naive Susie, nobody wants an old pet. Nobody. <laughs> good morning, ladies. Ah! Oh! Sam, help me out here. <laughs> ah, thanks, buddy. Sure. Oh, I had the most amazing dream. I was rolling around in a mud pit the size of a pond. It was amazing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> tell us more. Ah! 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 What is that? Are you dying? Is this part of your face? Oh, relax. It's just a little avocado rinse to keep our coats youthful and shiny. Oh. Tasty. No, oh, I don't need that stuff. I get all my energy from a good night of howling at the moon. <laughs> <laughs> you need it more than any one of us, Wash. You're like what? A billion years old? Wait, what? What, what? Look, all I know is you're super duper old. <laughs> what do you mean, super duper old? Let's look at the numbers. Tell me, how old are you? I'm, I think maybe... Well, I have no idea. We don't really do birthdays in the woods. It doesn't matter anyway, because whatever age you think you are, you're actually seven times that age. I'm guessing you're somewhere around 35, or maybe even 40, so very old. <laughs> that most certainly does not sound about right. I'm as spry as they come. If you use the word spry, then you're definitely getting up there. But just to double check. Mm -hmm. What? What is it? What do you see? Not much, just... Ah! A gray hair. That means you're almost dead. A gray hair? But that's just like... This old silver fox I used to feed. Thanks, Sonny. Whatever. I still got it. Sure you do, Wash. Just like that old silver fox had it. Wait, so you're saying that when you get old, you lay around and people bring you food? Sign me up! Well, yes, but that wasn't my point. Oldness is really nothing to get excited about. Treat time, my furry friends! Come and get Come it! <sighs> we splurged and got gingery ginger snaps for ah! mm. Gingery ginger snaps? Ow! Gosh, are you okay? For the ten billionth time, I'm fine. Stop treating me like your grandpa. Come here. Lean on me. No! Everyone leave me alone. <laughs> oh, no, Wash. Let me help you up. How about one more treat, old boy? Life is short, right? Want me to chew it for you first? I'm not old. I'm going to show you. <laughs> Watch out, girls! <laughs> yeah. What? 
Chandler. was a cub, our idea of going for a walk was a 20-mile journey uphill both ways. Come on, Alfie, let's go inside. I want to play house. I told you, I'm not playing house until we have someone to play the grandpa. When I was a kid, our idea of playing house was eating rocks. If we wanted a grandpa... Hey, wait! <laughs> we can get Washington to play the part. Actually, he can play our great-great-grandpa who is back from the dead. <laughs> <laughs> I can't look. It's just a sea of gray in here. What? Is everything all right? Huh? Speak up. We're worried about you. I know you all once thought of me as your spirited leader, but it's becoming clear that my aging body is letting you down. Maybe I'm no longer fit to be in this role. Maybe it's time for me to accept my elderly status and all that comes with it. But Wash, you're not elderly. When I was a cub, there was an old silver fox who lived in our den. I used to have to chew- You told us this story! Really? About a hundred times. Well, that proves it. It's time for me to retire and go back to the woods. But we can't stay here without you, Wash. Yeah, you're our leader. You'll freeze out there. This is what old animals do. We return to nature. <sighs> I'd like to thank you all for coming to the Stop Washington from Leaving meeting. First on the agenda, how do we stop Washington from leaving? Oh, that's what's happening? I'm out of here. Wash can figure this out on his own. He's a big boy. I mean... An old boy. Well, we're off to a great start. But let's stay focused. How do we get Wash to stay? Let's tie him up! He's so stubborn, we need to go and hide and pin him down! Yeah, uh, okay. Any other suggestions? Oh, nope. oh, I got it! Lock him in a closet forever? This is going to be harder than I thought. What if we set up an easy, really, really easy obstacle course for him? Then he wins it, and he thinks he's still a young pup, and he doesn't leave, and we all live happily ever after. That's actually a really good idea. Thanks. Oh, we can use spoons for hurdles. <laughs> no, we need the tinier ones. Get the decorative teaspoon. Kids, you got a new play set now that the old man's on his way out. Life's for the living. No, Wash, this is for you. Huh? If you can make it to the end of this agility course, that means you're in the prime of your life. And you won't have to go back to the woods. Huh? Hmm, of course. If I don't make it to the end, I'll have no choice but to return to nature. Only respectable thing. And go! <laughs> 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 I 
didn't really want to go to the woods. Having someone chew your food for you is no life at all. Start the stopwatch. They weren't even real rocks. Good try, everyone. Victoria, lead my friends well. Oops. I'm a little competitive. Wash, I'm so sorry. You're not an old man. And those balloons, I mean, rocks, I mean, I have really sharp claws. I could pop a rock. It's okay, Victoria. You don't have to pretend. I'm an old guy. It's time for me to say goodbye. <gasps> don't follow me. Let me go with dignity. <laughs> I guess this is as good as it's gonna be from now on. Surprise! Happy birthday, Wash! For however old you are. You guys came all the way out here to give this to me? He didn't really make it that far. Well, I was a bit tired, you know? Uh, but tell me, how did you know it was my birthday? We don't celebrate those back in the woods. We didn't have a clue. We just decided to celebrate the first day of your new life. You maybe want to blow out your candles? Candles, right? That's what you do when you celebrate a birthday. You okay, Wash? He's more than okay. Your gray hair is gone. You look like a brand new cub again. Well, you look at that. I guess my days aren't numbered after all. Does that mean you'll come back home with us? Only if I can get more of those gingery ginger snaps. You don't need that thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, watch it! Oh. Oops, sorry. It's okay, Grandma. I'll give you a hand. Grandma? I'm not a grandma. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. We're off to the farmer's market, kiddos. No wild parties, okay? Animals throwing a party? Too much. <laughs> too, too much. <laughs> yeah! Yes! An entire costume-free afternoon to do whatever we want. Yes, like soak in a tub. And raid the fridge. And buy our toenails. Huh? Uh? You guys are gonna get so busted. No way! They'll be gone for hours! Huh? Huh? Ah! They're back! Panic! Ah! Don't do this to me, Zipper! Not you! Not you! Can't leave without our favorite podcast! Podcast and it. Huh? Hey! Oh, that was odd. I thought cats always landed on their feet. Hey! Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Look, hon, he wants to shake. Roll over. Roll over, boy. <laughs> now play dead, Washington. <laughs> <laughs> Good puppy. Brilliant. Hooray. <laughs> that was close. Good thing you play a dog so well, Washington. No biggie. Just raw talent mixed with a total commitment to my craft. But whatever. No. Washington, you're like the king of domestic pets. The king of domestic pets? Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the Majestic Domestic. Yeah, the Majestic Domestic. Oh, that's good. I like that. Majestic Domestic? He's acting like a house pet. It's not that hard. It is for me. I can't even land on my feet. You'll get it, big guy. Just keep practicing and someday... You'll be as good as you. Well, I was going to say you'll improve, but many things possible. You'll take it. Oh, hail the majestic domestic. Remember, 
Total commitment, Sam. Put your paws out and let it rip. Commit, commit, commit. Hmm, you're still holding back. Maybe if the platform was higher. Yeah, that's it. You're a genius. Me? A genius? Oh, I don't know. Maybe. <sighs> Brother. Something to say, Vic? Me? No, I mean, you are pretty high on yourself right now, but I'll hold my tongue till you slip up and take a fall. Well, I hope you're ready to wait a while because there's nothing the Majestic Domestic can't handle. We're home, kiddos, and there's someone we'd like you to meet. <laughs> Say hello to Petunia. <laughs> While we were at the market, we saw her in a tragically small cage. <laughs> Chicken! So, until we find her a better home, Petunia will be our guest. <laughs> uh, chicken! Uh, what is Washington doing? Being friendly. This book we got, How to Take Care of Chickens, says dogs and hens are natural allies. Well, if the book says so, I blindly accept it. And just uh, look at his happy little smile. Good dog! <laughs> Washington, you can't get out now. We're meeting our new guest. Wolf? All right, all right, yes. Wow, I guess when you've gotta go, you've gotta go. Perfect, a free range farm where our little chick will be happy. Great, see you soon, bye. Good news, hun, the farmers can pick up Petunia on Saturday. <laughs> Hello, Washington. How's it going with Petunia the chicken? I thought foxes couldn't resist a nice, fat, juicy chicken. And we're just natural enemies. Huh? Gee, what if you're right? What if I can't control myself? Oh, no! In case you can't tell, I was being sarcastic. And don't forget, I'm the majestic domestic. He's right, Vic. Back in the wild, Wash was always talking about how much she loves chickens. And now look at him. He doesn't even look at Petunia. See? He's really the majestic domestic. Buck, buck. Oh, <laughs> hey there, Petunia. Nice to eat. Ah! I get the next hug. Washington, my slippers! Bad dog! <laughs> Go, Sam! You can do it! <laughs> commit, Sam! Commit! Commit! <laughs> Mayonnaise powder! <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> how to take care of cats and how to take care of chickens. Let's mix it up a bit. Huh? What's that? Apparently chickens love sunbeams. Oh, I'm pretty sure that's cats. It says so right here. Never mind then. Blindly accepted. make it unless I make the full commitment. <laughs> guys, guys, what day is this? It's the day Sam finally lands on his feet. That's what day it is. Yeah, total commitment time. Make it higher, guys, higher. No, I mean, is today Saturday? <gasps> it's the farmers! Ha <laughs> ha! I made it! 
It's all gonna be fine now. Hello? Mr. and Mrs. Livingstone? Us farmers are up at 5 a.m. We'll have to come back next week. Let's go. No! Don't! You can't! No! 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 Uh, Washington? Something wrong? Wrong? I, 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 I'm in control. Okay, then could you not act like a crazy person for a sec? Sam's about to jump. Thanks! Commit, Sam. Commit. Commit. You know, guys, I'm worried it's still not high enough. No! Get away! Get away! Stop him! <laughs> you can't fight me forever! It's hopeless! Rush, I don't understand. What's gotten into you? Foxes eat chicken, Sam! And I can't stop trying to eat Petunia! <laughs> Where is Petunia? Don't worry, she's safe. I took care of her. <laughs> I know! I'm not a domestication master! I'm a domestication monster! <laughs> I knew it! Yes! Yes! You all heard him admit it. You're my witnesses. Actually, I should have this documented and do we know any notaries? Never mind, it's just a symbolic thing, but you'll sign it, right? You have to sign it. Hey, come on, Victoria. Yeah, not nice. But guys, she's right. I'm not what I thought I was. Maybe, but you're still our friend. Thanks. <laughs> Look, the farmers haven't left yet. I told you that you can't substitute orange juice for oil. Okay, okay, let's find a gas station. Okay, it's my duty to help you, Wash. I'll find a way to restrain them until the elves wake up. Wish me luck. Good luck. For Washington. For Washington. One. I did it. I actually did it. He did it. How's it going, furry friends? Hello. Sam? Hello. What are you doing out there, buddy? You know this cat? He's really phenomenal. He just landed on my hood from out of nowhere. Oh, yes it is. And by the way, hello. You aren't the free-range farmer, are you? Yes, we are. And by the way, we're here for the chicken you have on your head. Huh. <laughs> Guys, I just want to say thanks for sticking with me. You're welcome, I guess. As long as I don't have to hear the name Majestic Domestic ever again. Don't worry, I learned my lesson. Besides, we all know who the real hero is. The Phenomenal Feline. The Phenom... The Phenomenal Feline! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Girls want to learn to bake cookies? Maybe I'll give you a little cookie dough for a treat. Oh, yay! We're gonna make cookies! Yippee! <laughs> you may have to compete with Washington.
Some fun tonight! Huh? We are? Oh, yes, we are! <laughs> It'll be fun for the whole family! You'll see! <laughs> okay, come on, tell me what it is! It's something no cat can resist! It's a laser pen! And not just any laser pen, it's the Phantom Red 3000! Let the games begin! <laughs> Come on, don't catch it! Whoops, I'm too fast for you! <laughs> what is that thing she's chasing? I don't know, but whatever it is, she really wants it. We meet again, Red Dot, but this time you will be mine! <laughs> Sam, what's wrong? <laughs> what kind of cat doesn't want to catch the dot? Did you hear that, Sam? You gotta catch that dot! But I don't care about the dot. Well, you better fake it. Fake it? <laughs> Sam, if you don't get out there and catch that dot, Mr. L is going to find out you're not really a cat. <clears throat> catch the dot. Catch the dot. Go on, champ. Catch the dot. Catch the dot. Catch the dot. Huh? I'll catch you, red dot. <laughs> Sam. I've never seen a cat with such horrible aim! <laughs> what? Stand in my way, you clumsy boar! <laughs> oh, I'm suddenly married to a big kid. He's going crazy with that toy. <laughs> Get it, Sam! Get it! By any means necessary! Out of my way! There are only winners in this family! Win, win, win! Get it, Sam! If you love this comfy life, you'll catch that dot! Red dot! Red dot! Come on, Sam, I'm with you! Come on, Sammy, you're the best! Come on, Sam! Red dot! Red dot! Must catch the red dot! <laughs> Sam, you're the clumsiest cat ever! Hmm. <laughs> 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 red dot, red dot, must catch the red dot at all costs, at all costs. If I didn't know any better, I'd say he isn't faking it anymore. At all costs, at all costs. Red dot, red dot. Red dot, red dot, red dot. <laughs> You don't want any of this leftover cookie dough? Huh? Oh boy! Cookie dough! Gimme, 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 gimme! <laughs> red dot, red dot, must catch the red dot at all costs! <laughs> red dot! <sighs> you can do it, champ! That dot is yours! Don't give up now! You're so close! Now listen to me! 
Carve into those turns when the dot takes those corners. Now, don't let Vic intimidate you. Just get right up there in front of her. Even if her claws do hurt a little. Oh yeah, and can you try not to whiz by Eugenie and Susie so much? They're pretty dizzy. Red dot, must catch the red dot. You know you're never gonna get it, right? Dot. Wait, what? Red dot. How do you know that? Because, hello, no cat has ever caught the red dot before. Huh? The cat who finally does catch the red dot will become the enlightened feline leader. Hmm. But that is pretty much definitely no way going to be Sam. No offense, Sam, but you are definitely not a cat. And since I'm the only cat here, that means you're going to lose. Oh! <laughs> Catch the dot! Catch the dot at all costs! Catch the dot! <laughs> Can't catch the. <laughs> I think I need a timeout. Good idea. <laughs> red dot, get the red dot. <laughs> Come on, get it, Sam. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Get it, Vic. <laughs> oh, boy. This has to end. I gotta talk to Sam. Uh, Sam, listen, buddy. We gotta talk. Uh, I think Vic's right. You're never gonna catch that dot. So, you should stop now. Catch the dot. Catch the dot. Sam? Catch the dot. Catch the dot. Tell him, Vic. Tell him. Red dot, 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 red dot. That stupid red dot has turned this entire household upside down. Stupid red dot, making everyone crazy, destroying everything. Stupid dot, stupid dot that cannot be caught. Look 
kids, Mrs. <laughs> L's Cupcakes! Oh, so pretty! But could this be... Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Victoria. Yeah. Why isn't she angry at us? <laughs> Victoria? Uh... Hey, Vic. What's wrong? Hey, Vic. Vicky. Vickster? Hey, Vic. What's going on? Are you okay? Why aren't you getting angry at us? <laughs> confused about who we're calling. The vet. I didn't want to say it in front of the pets. You know how they hate the vet. Remember what happened last time. Oh. 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 Yeah, right. Not a good day. Uh, I have the flu. Leave me alone. You poor thing. Sorry and stuff. If I could just sneeze, I might feel a little better. Ooh, the flu? Hmm. I never get the flu. Never. Never? The second I get a sniffle, I just do an old forest anti-flu ritual, and that's it. Flu gone. Here. Hi cha, hi cha, hi cha choo. 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 Wild animals only, not for sensitive house pets like Vic. It could overtake her. You're right. Uh, Who knows what could happen? Uh, Let me think. Uh, Who is it? Oh, food! Yeah. Ah! Food? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello! <laughs> It's the vet. Uh, the vet? Uh, Say, uh, uh, Phew! Not a good day. Susie, it's up to you. Uh, Doc? Yes? It's our cat, Victoria. I think she's got the flu. Normally, I'd bring her in, but she's just so weak. Could you possibly swing by our place and check on her? Well, keep her hydrated and watch her closely for the next couple hours. If she's not any better, then I guess I'll come right over. I should probably give the rest of your animals a once-over, too. <laughs> ew! 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 Germs! Ew! Gross! <laughs> <laughs> Who's ever heard of a vet being afraid of germs? 
Well, Doc, you do sound busy. I'll uh, keep you posted. How long do we have? Do you know? Uh, a couple of hours, I think. Or was it a few minutes? Well, one of those. And guess what? If he comes, he's checking all of us. <gasps> we gotta keep him out of here. Way too risky. You mean he could give us shots? Or clean our ears? Or use the thermometer again? Yeah. <gasps> or find our zippers? <gasps> <gasps> yeah, exactly. Gasp. And if that happens, we're back out in the wild. So we gotta get Vic better. Got it? Yes! yes. <laughs> Great news, Vic. Nurse Washington and his team are here to get you well. <laughs> this patient needs a cold cloth. Water! Water! This patient needs ice. Ice! 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 ice. ice. Ouch! Oops. So cold! The patient needs warmth. Thank you. Well, gotta say, Vic, you look better already. Right, Sam? <laughs> Good job, guys. High fives <laughs> all around. <laughs> Does this mean we can have our food now? Oh no, Vic! You're not supposed to wrap yourself in blankets when you're sick! You'll get a fever! Ah! <gasps> Honey! Vic has gotten worse! You'd better call the vet and tell him to come over right away! Mm -hmm. No, we can't get our food now. Hello. Uh, hi, Doc. We've been watching Vic, but she's not getting any better. My wife just burned her finger on her fur. Fine. I'm coming now. He's on the way. <laughs> what to do? What to do? Ah! No. I'm here to help make the sick go away. Why don't you go away? I have something really important to say that I think will really help. Okay, here goes. If you don't get better, can I have all your yarn balls? How does that help me? I thought it would motivate you to get better. Uh, 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 if I could just sneeze. Chili peppers, of course! Mm -hmm. I mean, chili peppers to sneeze. Great! I bet that'll clear her up. risky, but it's our only option. Our ancient forest anti-flu ritual. Oh, Washington, we can't! What choice do we have? We gotta try something. The vet'll be here any second. Huh? The vet? How come nobody told me the vet was coming? I can't do the thermometer. Huh? Washington, please! Do your forest magic. It's my only hope. Hmm. Hi, cha, hi, cha, hi, cha, chu. Hi cha, hi cha, hi cha, chu. All together. Hi cha, hi cha, hi cha, chu. 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 Hi cha, hi cha, hi cha, chu.
Wow. Well, I hope he's coming soon. We have a situation right here. Mm. Mm -hmm. Hey! I can breathe again! Wow! Now I won't get the thermometer thanks to you guys! <coughs> Thank goodness you're here! She's like a limp little rag! There she is, Doctor! <laughs> so, nose dryness, good elasticity, <laughs> right, tongue flexibility, perfect! Is this some kind of joke? This feline is fit as a fiddle. <laughs> wow, you are sickly. <laughs> so sick, in fact, your fur looks almost like a costume. I better get my thermometer and take his temperature. Oh, the humanity! I'm freaking out! Glad it's not me. I just. I just. <laughs> uh, 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 Yes, yes, your dog is definitely sick. Ooh, ooh, gross, germs, ooh. Just give it one of these every four hours. Ooh, ooh, ooh gross, ooh. Forget my number. Bye, doctor. Send us the bill. What a great vet coming all the way out here. That's a professional at work. Hi, Cha. Hi, Cha. Hi, I mean, Chachu. just look at hi, Washington. Cha, hi, He's cha, better hi, already. Chachu. Hi, Cha. Hi, Cha. Hi, Cha. <laughs> Let's go buy a cake to celebrate. That was close. The forest anti flu ritual works every time. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the time. 